This video is about section 308 of Thomas Aquinas's commentary on Aristotle's De Anima. Here's the text. Note, too, that our intellectual potency is, as such, only potentially intelligible. In order to be understood, it must be actualized through an idea drawn from sensible images. A thing is knowable only in the degree that it is actual. Hence, our intellectual potency attains to self-knowledge only through possessing an intelligible object in a concept, as will be explained in Book 3, and not by directly intuiting its own essence. This is why the process of self-knowledge has to start from the exterior things whence the mind draws the intelligible concepts in which it perceives itself. So, we proceed from objects to acts, from acts to faculties, and from faculties to essence. But if the soul could know its essence in itself and directly, it would be better to follow the reverse procedure, for in that case the closer anything was to the soul's essence, the more directly could it be known by the soul. What this means is that human self-knowledge moves from objects to acts, then to faculties or powers, and then to essence. In knowing ourselves, we begin with objects, that is, the real objects that we know through the senses. These objects are brought into the mind as concepts or ideas. Reflecting on the concepts in the mind, we then come to understand the act by which we form concepts. And from this knowledge of the act of knowing, we then come to know our faculty or power of holding knowledge. And after that, we come to knowledge of our own human essence as knowing subjects, beings who know. So the order for Aquinas is the real object of knowledge, then the concept in the mind, then the act of knowing, then the power of knowing, and finally the human essence as the knowing subject. Note that this is a clear reversal of Descartes' order of self-knowledge, which prioritizes the self, then proceeds to the act of knowing, the method, and then on that basis to knowledge of real things outside the mind. Note also that Descartes presumes what Aquinas explicitly denies, that the self can know its own essence in itself and directly in a single intellectual intuition, which is the cogito. That's all for now. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.